Welcome to Bits on Location, Datnam Ort. This is a very, very old project I did as my thesis project in 2001. It's almost 20 years old. And it's about time to um, archive this work because it's a Flash website. And the Flash is going to be dead end of this year, 2020. It's going to be defunct on all the browsers next year. So, um, yeah, I take the opportunity to archive this. And uh, it's a project I did for my architecture thesis. I studied architecture at the Udeka Art School in Berlin. And yeah, what you hear, what you hear in the background is not my phone. It's like it's a little prank I built into this website, actually. So <laughs> I'm going to hit start here and so I can uh, talk a little bit to you. Um, I studied architecture at the UDK and I was very much from the beginning uh, my school time also interested in internet and the web and all these things and um, yeah what would happen if the internet comes to space and to the city and was asking myself these questions and made like a whole research thesis project website out of this and here's some uh, network analysis and uh, virtual space um, discussion going on um, technology we have like cell phone towers in the city and this other cell phone tower stuff so i was doing some research etc but the project the project is here on the second button and yeah the main the main part all happens in here localization and I made a bunch of these proposals. What could be applications? Yeah, apps didn't even exist back then, but what could be applications um, like on your phone, on a mobile device in the city, location-based, yeah, location-based services it was called back then. Today we have this like all the times, like in our, all our apps, this location, uh, most of the time turned on and some some uh, content is delivered for your location etc um, yeah navigation and cars and all these things those are the big uh, applications for location of course but here's a bunch of um, ideas and I just want to start with like the very classic one which is home page at home So what would it be like if I walk the city and I see web pages, home pages, which was still a thing back then, based on my location? Yeah. Um, another thing could be next uh, email. What would it be like to send an email to a person, but also to a place? So this message only arrives if also that person is at a specific location. I'm not even sure, I'm sure it's somewhere, people have done that already, but yeah, it's kind of the opposite of what you want with messages to arrive. So, and then there's like many more of these ideas floating around. Um, I'm just going randomly and you see some pictures from Berlin from 2001. Um, yeah, posting notes in the city and you walk to, to a place and you see a message somebody left behind or uh, playing games in the city for skateboarders maybe even. so you do a trick and it's connected with your phone and it has all the info and you play this game I even like uh, proposed some uh, no not Tamagotchi yeah Tamagotchi was the other one yeah you have like a pet a virtual pet and these pets could meet and maybe fight or maybe exchange information. I mean, Pokemon Go, like, really was like one of the big one, big, uh, like, apps in the past few years, which attracted a lot of attention, um, which was like truly location based. But then, of course, advertisement is something where the industry is uh, working a lot. Um, I haven't seen this yet, but it's the classic uh, minority report moment. 
you walk somewhere and you get advertisement displayed directly for you. This happens in your Instagram app all the time already. So we are already there in a way. Office data space. Depending on your location in the building, you reach different networks, maybe have access to different files for projects. That would make sense. Um, Diggy pets, that's similar to the Tamagotchi fighters, I think, but it's less brutal. It's more like the friendly version. I'm sh yeah, again, I'm sure there's apps out there doing this today. <laughs> Um, what's the shopping assistant? I'm not sure. Yeah, this is Alexander Platz 2001. It's pretty funny. Willkommen zum SB Live Erlebnis. <laughs> so you get like some advertisement in the shop based on your location. I also have to admit like I did this at a time where I wasn't really aware of so much of the privacy questions and security questions of the internet. And yeah, all like all this uh, data and uh, location and yeah, all the private data and surveillance capitalism, which is out there now in full swing, of course, uh, takes big advantage of our data. Yeah, grave bites, right? Um, you have a graveyard and then you have digital graves on top of the real graves. Street art sale. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, the interesting ones. Ah, yeah. Personal city filter preferences. Depending on where you are, you get like um, information to your phone. I think like like Google Assistant and these like programs, they do this. Like you walk somewhere and they want they know already you want to take the metro or something. Um, yeah, this is a visualization of that. Uh, what else? There's some they never worked, right? <laughs> like Adventure City city gotcha but you can imagine like something up oh yeah i like this one bite items yeah this was the idea of like you leave something somewhere you leave a ringtone you leave a ringtone and somebody else can pick up the ringtone on that spot hmm it's maybe like a digital trash can in public could be something <laughs> um neighborhood chat space well, there's a bunch of like neighborhood uh, startups, um, platforms where you exchange whatever uh, stuff you have, like tools and uh, um, have classified ads for things. But this was just like a chatting, chatting idea. What else? This maybe custom urban space profile. I think we had this already. Um, instant help exchange finder area <laughs> instant help okay my personal assistant strikes you find somebody nearby to like to help you who's like really close by that's kind of interesting um ebay 3d how about like uh I'm still, I'm, I mean, I'm still shopping a lot on eBay, I have to admit. This is like such an old company, like if you think about it. Yeah, but um, you walk through the city and you see the ads of eBay, like on top of the houses. Well, you can pretty fine grain, like look in neighborhoods for who's offering what today. Um, and maybe last but not least, uh, here's a funny bonus zone. Oh yeah, that's that's brutal too, yeah. You have to be closer to the shopping window, like to, to win a prize. Oh that's really brutal, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um yeah, and I'm not sure, maybe I missed I missed like a good one. Blind yeah, match blind date finder. Well, this, I think this even existed already in uh, in 2001, maybe. There were like these little devices, but this is like grinder, right? I mean, you, you look like on a very local level for people to meet. But, and then there's like a, a whole um, range of uh, analysis around this, like the so architects need to talk about typology, point, surface, space, and then different types of... Uh, 
zones you could build like in 3D, etc. And it's funny that, I mean, today we have, uh, we live in the, in the year of COVID-19 and uh, there's let's been a lot, lot talk about the COVID app, a lot of discussion um, for tracking con contacts. And this is something which is, uh, yeah, rolled out on a large scale today. So we are sort of, we are sort of there. Um, and some of the ideas still maybe have, uh, yeah, some value today, I hope. Oh, I forgot this, like, position fake. Yeah, you can fake, of course. You, there's GSM blocker, like blockers, wireless graffiti or something. Of course, today there's, like, all these augmented reality things. Wi-Fi hack, MC catcher, user-to-user. User, it's, like, all about this file sharing, peer-to-peer. -peer. It's, like, this is a picture of the G Nutella network in uh, 2000. <laughs> And geographies yeah we saw this earlier too um yeah that's like a quick overview on this project i did uh almost 20 years ago and yeah i i was fascinated early on by these questions when when this network and digital yeah web space comes to comes to the city and how this uh how this affects and maybe this picture here is like says a lot because this is still the thing i mean we see people like okay this woman is talking on the phone but everybody is like feeling with their phone in the street these days so the internet is very much in the street um yeah i think this is it uh i wonder what is this here some accessories yeah links and comments are you there used to be a comment section oh no now it's opening a new page this was not the right thing but um yeah, if you uh, have a still like Flash installed in your browser and you can use the next two months, like till end of December 2020 to surf to, the, to this website and um, have a look and maybe, yeah, it'll stay online, but Flash is just going to be blocked also for a reason because it's very harmful. But um, maybe drop by, check it out. At least I have this video documentation now. And um, yeah, take care. See you around.